All right. Um, just made my coffee. Haven't even had a sip, but this one got to me because last night I read an email that kind of like it kind of it emotionally devastated me. I'm not going to share it because that's a private thing. Um, all I can say is that that this is the wind knocking everything around. I literally just woke up, so like whatever. But anyway, um, as far as people that invested in AMC, overinvested in AMC, what AMC has done to them, I'm like, okay, I do understand stock market can go 50-50. That's how it works. I used to say it back in the old days, this is not Make-A-Wish Foundation. I tried to warn a lot of people throughout the time. People call me a FUD, a shill. They said I work for Morgan and all kinds of stuff. And I'm like, whatever. But now I get to see the aftermath of everything, okay? And people are like, oh yeah, Lou's telling us now, uh, about XRP and stuff like that. And yeah, we remember this. I'm like, yeah, you remember the guy that warned you about eight. You remember a guy that warned you when it was in the thirties. You remember the guy that told you that it was gonna have the voting rights, that was gonna screw us over later on, that kind of stuff, but whatever. That email last night made me start thinking, what if you bought into a a AMC Heavy and in the process, the price went down, now you got the reverse split coming and everything's gonna happen to it. All I can say is, if it was me and my money was stuck in this, then you gotta, I, what I would do, see if I can recoup the money within the, obviously the price fluctuation of the reverse split, if it goes down. If you can't get it there and you feel you lost way too much and take it out, you're still gonna be devastated. You know, let's say I felt that way. I do understand that AMC currently right now is making revenue. AMC will be out of debt. AMC will have some positive numbers going forward. The stock will go up eventually because of dilution, obviously. But you may have a secondary exit plan out of it. That's how I would say to myself. So I try to warn people along the way. Christ, I started this nonsense because I was warning people. It was a great opportunity, but then there was a lot of things that started to happen, and then we all know the whole process of it. Um, it's funny how a lot of the people that were out there talking shit about me, they mysteriously disappear. Every now and then, some of them pop up because they can't, they can't stand it. But they don't understand. I was trying to warn people that this was not a normal thing. It's the most incredible play I've ever seen as far as, I mean, even to date with the lawsuit where it's at right now. But the cast of characters behind it, mm, we could still win. We could still have a run beforehand. By chance of Zern can delay or stop the reverse split. We can have something incredible. But that being said, it can go the other way. So if you're heavily, deeply locked into the whole thing, like if I was, I'll try to get my money out in the reverse split. And if I have to, I will turn it into a, a, a long-term position and see if I can get my exit out because it's just, you know, when you put everything in it, I just, that's, you know, I never do that with any investment, anything. I never do that. I never go, everything I got goes into it. Why? Why, why would you do that? You put something in it, let that grow. Then you have a certain amount of house money that you can continue and go on from there. That's what you do. You know, there's a difference between being an investor and just, <laughs> I invested. No, it, you, you have, this is a process. This is a lifestyle. This is a, this is a, this is a religion. Okay. And even in religion, sometimes people stumble, they lose faith, things like that. So my thing is, if I was neck deep into this, no way out, I would try to make my money in the reverse split. If that doesn't happen, I will play it at a fundamental because they're gonna be out of debt. Yeah, they're gonna have dilution, but at the same time, positive numbers come in the holidays, couple of other blockbuster movies, whatever. You might have some positive numbers there and at the end of the day, you know what to do. Or a couple of bucks on the side can turn around and cook something in coin. That's how I will look at it. Where do I make back the losses of this? So there you go. Johnny Love, I hope that helps. And I read the email.